Hey everyone. So I thought I'd try out running a UPS off of lithium batteries. Now these are lithium iron phosphate batteries, not lithium ion. Lithium iron phosphate batteries have a voltage range which more closely matches that of lead acid batteries. So these packs, uh, I believe, come from uh, hybrid buses and they're available on eBay. Obviously these packs have uh, been well worn and the capacity is quite a bit below original, but it should uh, be sufficient to run this UPS. So this pack is comprised of 12 groups of eight cells in series. So it's an, a 12S8P. As you can see, I have wired uh, balance leads to the uh, balance terminals and I have two ISDT balance meters they're currently not connected. Now, there are two ways to balance batteries, either a top balance or a bottom balance. Most people typically do a top balance, and this is also what I normally would do. However, I decided in, in this case to do a bottom balance. So this pack is currently complete discharged and balanced as best as I could get it uh, at a low voltage of about 2.5 volts per cell. So if I go ahead and connect these, the meters, you should be able to see the voltages. So currently the, the voltages are low and the balancers are giving a an alarm because they, the minimum voltage for these are is 2.5 volts. So they're all roughly at, at or about 2.5 volts per cell. Now I'm gonna go ahead and plug the batteries into the UPS. Now, let's plug in the UPS to the mains. So as you can see, the voltage has already started climbing as the UPS is now charging the batteries. Alright, so now the battery is fully charged. I have left this on overnight. I've unplugged the UPS and as you can see over here I have plugged in a uh, watt meter. So when we do the discharge we'll be able to monitor how much power is uh, taken from the batteries. Let's look at what the, uh, the balance meters are saying. So let's look at this one here first. So as you can see, there's 57 millivolts of imbalance and it's indicating 85% charge. So that's not too bad. Again, like I said, we did a bottom balance. So it's normal that at the highest charge rate, the voltages are not quite even. Now let's look at the other one. So here we see a much higher difference between the highest and lowest cell, 440 millivolts imbalance. And as you can see, the this one here is 3.8 volts. That's actually a little bit too high. And this one also 3.7. So these two groups are much weaker than the other ones, uh, more even than I had expected. So uh, ideally, I guess for UPSs, a top balance would be probably be better because you will very rarely be going down to zero voltage or fully discharging the batteries only when there's a long power outage. Most of the times the cells will be sitting at a full charge level. So 
Uh, I think what I will do is I'll go ahead and do a discharge test and then recharge the batteries and balance them uh, at the top. So I'll go ahead and plug in um, some lights to draw 300 watts. Lights are over here. Let's go ahead and plug that in to the UPS. The UPS has now been running for about half an hour. So let's see the state of voltage. So as you can see, it's indicating 9% state of charge. However, that is not accurate when it's on a load. The variance has been reduced now to only 24 millivolts. And on this one, it's even better. I only have nine millivolts difference. Let's see what the watt meter is indicating. Okay, so as you can see, the red light on the UPS is on for the battery state. I just, uh, by hitting the quiet button, I silence the alarm. Now let's look at the cells. So you can see the, the voltages have dropped significantly. And now we just got an alarm on cell number two. What about this one? The red light's on there, so good indication. Cell number four is weak. So typically the, the uh, specs say that we can go down to 2 volts. We're pretty much close to that now. now. And hence why I wanted to do a bottom balance. The UPS is continuing to run even though we have several cells that are at a low state of charge. Oh, and now it just turned off. So the voltages are now springing back up a bit. So if I were to uh, frequently discharge the batteries using the UPS, uh, the bottom balance would be ideal. However, as you saw at the high end, the voltage is a little bit high. Let's check to see how many uh, watt hours we were able to take out of the batteries. So 388 watt hours total, not too bad. Okay, so the power pack has been connected to the UPS for a few days, so the voltage has had time to settle. And let's see what we have here. So as you can see, it's not too, this one's not far off balance, with the lowest voltage being 3.35. So if I just turn on the balance function, it will discharge all the cells that are higher than the 3.35. Now let's look at this one. So here you can see much more significant imbalance with one of the cells is 3.66, which is actually too high. But the lowest is 3.51, so it's actually similar to the other one. So let's turn on balancing on this one. I will let that go for uh, until the, it's balanced. And if I need to, I'll charge this, the, these two groups of cells to get them to match, and then we'll do a discharge test. All right, so the cells are now all balanced. Let's have a look. So now let's uh, proceed to do a discharge test. And while I'm doing that, I'm actually gonna replace uh, this one with uh, this version because this one uh, remains on all the time so we'll be able to track uh, the voltage as it drops and I don't need the balance faction of these units so let's go ahead and change this
UPS is now on, the lights are plugged in, and let's now unplug the UPS. Okay, so my camera turned off before, during the filming of the discharge process, so I don't have footage uh, when the uh, UPS turned off. So obviously the cell number four and some cell number five uh, most likely went quite a bit below two volts. I was hoping to see uh, exactly what voltage it would uh, discharge to, but unfortunately I don't have that. As you can see, cell number four uh, went completely dead. Um, that's really not good when you're doing a discharge. Um, lithium iron phosphate battery batteries are a little bit more tolerant to heavy discharge, but uh, it's really not good to go below two volts regularly. So this is what happens when you do a top balance and you have a some weak cells. On discharge, your weakest cell will go very low. Now, if this was uh, lithium ion batteries, um, the cell uh, voltage going down to zero, uh, it's possible they wouldn't even uh, permit you to recharge. They could uh, catch fire on a recharge. As you can see, the voltage is going slowly climbing back up. So I assume it'll probably be, be getting over two volts uh, fairly soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and recharge this uh, as I said, this is a UPS um, in my area. I don't have frequent power outages, so it'll be spending 99.9% .9 of its time at a full charge. So I'll be leaving it uh, top balanced. And if there is a power outage, uh, I just have to make sure that I don't let the battery uh, frequently discharge down to zero. So I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.